Welcome to Toppy TV. Today I am joined by Adam McCola, who is on the Stratford Paddock. He co-owns that. He was on Full Time Devils. He's also on The Club, which is another massive YouTube channel. He's a huge Manchester United fan. And I wanted to speak to Adam over the Jarrah Brantwaite stuff. There's a lot of noise from some Manchester United fans having a go at Everton for demanding a fee uh, in the region of £70 million for Jarrah Brantwaite. I want to get Adam's take on it, so here we go. Adam, thank you for taking the time to join me, my mate. Listen, I, I, I wanted to get you on because... You know, I know that you're quite a level-headed Manchester United fan. <laughs> well, you know, in my experience, you are. Um, but I, I think Evertonians are getting a little bit annoyed with Manchester United fans. That seem to be, not all of them, of course, a little bit entitled over this Jarrah Branthwaite thing. So I'm hoping you're going to come on and give me like just a sensible perspective on it. So um, where I'm, I'm... are you with the Branthwaite thing? I'm someone that, since I got my heart broken over Ronaldinho and stuff, I very rarely get excited about transfers and stuff until they to, until they happen. Do you know what I mean? Plus, yeah. I've been there so much over the years recently as well with Man United, where we make a signing and we think, "Oh, this is the one. We're going to be the we're going to be winning the league next season." And it never comes around like that. So I'm pretty laid back when it comes to transfers. But I've been really impressed with the way the, the profile of player that we've been targeting this summer. Like you look at the likes of Jared Brantwaite, Lenny Yaro. Xerxes, they're all young players with huge potential that can hopefully develop into being some of the best players in Europe. And I think Jared Bramfway is exactly one of those. I've, I've been really impressed with him off his left foot, off his right foot. It's hard to tell what... Is he a left-footed? Is he right foot? Like, he's so good on, on both. Mm. Um, I think he's, he's really good in terms of coming out early, trying to nick the ball off strikers. Um, and he's got good passing ability. Sometimes that can see him get caught out of position, I think. Um, mm. But... I think those those are things that defenders with experience will learn and they'll get better at. So I think I think Jared Brampwaite's very very good, um, mm -hmm. and I'd love Manchester United to sign him. On the other hand, I know Manchester United have overspent so much um, over the years on players. I think Jared Brampwaite's probably worth about 50, 60 million with add-ons, but to Everton, mm -hmm. he could be worth a hundred million if he keeps you up in the league. So mm -hmm. you've got to deal with your expectations of a player's price and the club who owns him expectations of the player's price because those expectations and the context of the club and all those kind of things are really important. Like I don't rate Jordan Pickford, but Jordan mm. Pickford's an amazing goalkeeper for Everton. He's probably kept you up. Mm. And if anyone wants him, they're going to have to cough up probably a price over the value that he's actually worth because of how good he is for Everton. Mm. So I think Jared Bramford's one of them. I'd like to see a signing, but I think we've kind of gone and looked at Lenny Arrow as well. And I think that's either to push Jared Brampway and his team to kind of, come on, lads, can you start accepting one <laughs> of these kids? Like, either just kind of force that from the player or to show Everton that there are other options for us in the market because, I, I don't know, you'll be able to tell me more, but we don't know what your financial situation is like. Do you need to sell to buy? There's talks about Calvert-Lewin and stuff. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how it develops. Yeah, I think from our perspective, I think had this been before the 30th of June, we knew that Everton were, were mm. sort of up against it, but we made the sales. We got rid of Godfrey, we got rid of Dobbin. That's sort of our PSR out for this year, and, and we're quite relaxed. I think Calvert-Lewin, I think Everton have accepted that he will go. He doesn't want to stay. That's fine, no issue with that at all. Um, he's been linked with Manchester United himself. I actually think he'd be a great option for United, to be I fair. I think he'd be good his injury, but his injury mm. But, but he did play 35 games last season, so he has sort of come that. And Onana, who's another one, who, again, I actually thought United might go for because the potential of him is huge, just sitting in front of, of the defence. But I think he will move on as well. So I think Everton know that they're going to get money from them too and, and they, they don't want to sell Brantwaite. Now, I don't sit here and say he's definitely worth £100 million. But the fact is, Everton value him at... 75 million say because mm. he's still got a lot he's he's got a contract for another three years so there's no yeah. issue there like i said the the position financially has changed i think he's the one out of three that everton and the manager yeah. wants to keep but we're also not naive if manchester united offered 75 million for jared brantwaite or a figure that made 75 million mm. 
I think Everton would accept it and the player would go. And I think where, where I'm struggling with Manchester United fans is not that not that they think Jared Brantwaite's not worth it. I have no, no issue with that because everyone... Everyone is worth what they are to the club, aren't they? You look mm-hmm. and go, you know, remember Everton wanted Wilf Shahar. It could be worth it, but United's problem is we spent 80 million on Anthony. We spent 80 yeah, million yeah, on yeah. And the club have got to try and go, we can no longer do that now. Mm-hmm. Jared Brantway might be worth the money. He might be, but I don't think Manchester United can show mm-hmm. people they're going to be spending. So now it's kind of like a United are tussling with that. Those new people that are doing the negotiations are going yeah. to try and get rid of that old... Ex- the old expectations that United will pay whatever you want for a player. So they've got a battle with that as well. Which yeah, is yeah. No, I just I just think it, it, where I've found it difficult is some not some Manchester United fans who've come on our channel as well and, and socials and listen, you get all sorts, don't you, from every team, we get it from, you know, whatever. But they're like, he's not worth it. So you should just be selling him for forty five million to us. It's like, well, if he's not worth that money why, why do, you do you want him so much? Yeah. Move on, go somewhere else. I've always wanted, like <laughs> people pulling up his mistakes and stuff, and it's yeah. like if we sign him, you'll be the same people say "Welcome to Manchester United." Uh, and stuff. But yeah, I think that's just Twitter in it. Like, yeah, yeah, always like that. There's always the polarizing opinions, and really and truly, the truth probably lies somewhere in the middle. Yeah, like, like, like with Ten Hag, if you looked on the internet, everyone probably thought Ten Hag's out of there. Mm. But deep down, I think a lot of Man United fans wanted to see him given some time, especially like, you know, in my experience going to the game, I don't remember people really singing his name that much, but yeah. they weren't looking to, for his head, really. They were looking to, you know, to keep him in place. So, yeah, I think I think social media is just polarising. It's always yeah. someone's, sometimes someone's shit or someone's amazing <laughs> in it. Um, but I think I think Jared Brown plays really good footballer. I, w- I would really love to see him sign for Man United. And we've just brought in Ru Van Nistelrooy, who's worked with him in the past yeah. at PSV. And we've seen how, you know, he, he speaks of him in glowing terms as well. So it'd be interesting mm. if those two could work together again. Um, but I don't know. Do you think you'll keep him? Do you think you'll hold on to him? I th- I honestly think Everton. I think, like I said, pre-June uh, the 30th, rather, I would have been worried thinking, well, United do want him. But now... Money wise, I think basically Everton have got till June the thirtieth next year, and yeah. I think he will go. I don't don't get me wrong, I'm not naive. Where Everton are right now isn't where we want to be, of course. And the player, in my opinion, I've said this. We've said this. Mark Oldbridge was on the other week. I said the same to him. Have him watched John Stones before he left to Manchester City and Jared Brantway. John Stones is an amazing footballer. Has been sensational. And I, but I do think he's me personally. I always thought he was a number six, than, than, but he's done yeah. great for City. But I think Jared Brantwaite's a better defender than what John Stones was when they were at Everton. And John Stones went for 50 million eight years ago. Yeah. And do you know what I mean? So that's why my value is right now we want to keep him. So to our us, it the value is 75 million. Yeah. We, I can see what he could be. I get, that, like, you know, you've got that danger though, haven't you? If he doesn't have oh, as good a season, mm, then mm. someone probably only pay 30, 40 million for him when he's probably worth a little bit more than that. Like, I think he'll be a mainstay in England, though, Adam. I really do. I think after this, he didn't go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely amazed. But the other thing as well, just on United, is just seeing some stuff there around the lit from Bayern and, and Sky Germany saying. He wants to move, and that looks like it's going to happen. But would, would are United looking for two, are they? We want two, yeah, yeah. Mm. Which is, again, from my perspective, that's refreshing because we've need, mm. we, usually we'd, we'd need two and get one if we were lucky. Yeah. And like just being in a position where we might get two. So I think it's Mathis de Ligt and then Brampway or Lenny Yaro. But mm. Lenny Yaro seems to be looking for that Real Madrid move, which is, again, it's like, do you want to bring in a player? Because Real Madrid don't want to spend. Uh, 60 million euros on him, mm. or 50 million euros or whatever it is and United will whereas they'll just wait for him to be on a free but then it <laughs> can Man United get him and then do you get risk getting him and then in two years he wants to go to Real Madrid and it's like but yeah so I think it will end up being hopefully one of them mm. um, alongside Matish De Ligt, um, which would hopefully like see us look better defensively set. Least, it, re- it reduces Maguire to like fourth choice which is a fourth yeah. choice I mean, I'm not Maguire's biggest fan. 
Mm. Um, I wouldn't mind just chucking him in with it in the deal. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? Do you want him? Do you want Harry Maguire? Uh, well, I'd, I'd rather have Jared. I won't lie, but you know, there is. I, I am not. I'm not naive enough to think. You know, if, if Matt, like I said, if Manchester United pay the money, then he'll go because. He will. That's just that's football, isn't it? It happens. It, it happens with all the clubs. If everyone's got a value, and I think just my from our perspective is, we have got a value on a player. It doesn't matter whether he's worth it. It doesn't matter whether mm. uh, I'm talking about fancy. The clubs will do it differently, and they should as well. Of course, they should. But when you've got a player, it's like Marcus Rashford. I love Marcus Rashford. I think he's a great player, and and he's up. I know he's he's a little bit up and down. Manchester United want eighty million apparently for him now. You could argue all well, day, is he worth 80? Now, if Everton come into United and we'll give you 25, 30, United fans will be throwing throwing things at us, you know? And I said it with Cobby Minor, who's been tremendous for England, by the way, um, as well as for United last season. But he's had one season in, pre- in football. If Everton went in and went, we'll give you 30 million or 40 million for him, United fans would laugh us out of the out of the thing. And that's how we are with Brantwick, you know what I mean? Bid, that bid was made pre before July, though, wasn't it? Mm, mm. That bid was made, I think, with your PSR issues in mind, potentially. Yeah, yeah. Capitalise off that. Like, I think that was one of them ones. And you got if someone's going to start at seven, you've got to go low and think. Hopefully, mm. we can meet them somewhere <laughs> in the middle. Yeah. I think if United are bidding 30, 35 million, they're expected to pay at least fifty for it. Yeah, that's how they're approaching it. But you've just got to go through the through, through that and mm. then go through the negotiating. And nowadays, everything Fabrizio Romano will get the scoop on everything. So oh, it's mate. All, it's all played out in public, which is great for us, obviously, making the content that we make and that. You know? Yeah, yeah. Um, but it is like there's no, there's no surprises with anything anymore. You're hearing every little single thing about negotiation. Yeah. Before it'd be a little teletext rumour. <laughs> a little bit of a club call and then it's done. Eight quid an hour. Eight quid, <laughs> yeah, eight, yeah, hang on, yeah. hang on, sorry. Eight quid a minute, I'm, not eight quid got, an hour. I've got, I've got the phone disconnected again, Mom. Oh, mate, it's no good. <laughs> it's no good. Anyway, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens and... Uh, yeah. You know, if if something does happen, mate, we can have another little chat about it. But listen, I appreciate you coming on. I know you've got other so stuff. You, even if we don't get Brad Bray, if you if you want Maguire, let's talk. We'll have a chat, mate. Yeah, <laughs> it might be very quick one, but we'll have a chat. I'll take, yeah, no, there's no. a few at United I wouldn't mind, though. You know, we'll take a couple of them. Listen, take it easy, Ad. Thanks very much. All right, take care, mate. Thanks very much for joining us. Cheers. No, it's all about that.